be muted, given that Caitlyn can outshove the Jin, but Zyra does a lot of help in that regard, and a lot of answers for the single target engage from Nautilus. I'm unhappy because I eat, I eat because I'm unhappy, just non-stop BBQ chicken. This isn't your time for your session, your session is tomorrow, Gilios. Aru hitting level 6, about as quickly as his counterpart did in game 1, that's going to lead to a very swift first blood coming in for him. Lots of turret shots oh. coming through, however, bless if he can get on top of on the Sleece in, we've only seen him play once this split against Jin Air. Came up with a win with that, but now against much more formidable opponents. Speaking of which, Crown comes up to the top lane, puts another kill on the board for Samsung. 1-0-1 on that LeBlanc now. Is roaming down, Crown goes back in with a distortion, pops the Hex Drinker. Now Haru going to have to try to exit here. Stole away the red buff. He? He's gonna jump back in on the Bless. Pops him so much, but the depth charge comes through. Gets a bit of a heal off with the W, but oh, Bless comes back in with the Resonate Strike. Poor Flash by Haru. Still goes down. Kyuve not able to arrive in time. Totoro comes in. That's gonna be the Strangled Thorn starting down. Where JG does get rooted for the Deadly Flourish. Pops that Great Health Shield. Kicked away by Bless, who goes low. Crown goes back in. Comes up with the kill, but can he make it out alive? Dash. No. Crown feeling saucy. He's gonna go forward. Has the chain down. Judges out on that. Sonic Wave, one last auto attack, comes up with a kill, dashes back straight into Kinch. the devour from Core JJ. Wonderful roam up from him. He'll come up, will lock him down, flash away, but the chain still comes through. He's trying to lock him up as much as possible. Arcane Smash knocks him back in towards Crown, and that's just going to be one dead Nautilus. He'll go down, and yet another kill goes over to LeBlanc. Attempt trying to zip his way up here with the package, but it's just not fast enough. This is the power of the drop. He's going to come around, out of the brush, jumps on top of him. Can he land the bola for the slow? Comes out, there we go. Should be one dead Jin. Haru gets a solo kill. Something funny. You go through a gauntlet like that, but it's the gauntlet you want, because it's going to be an insane series of best of fives. Yep. Now Bless getting jumped on. So much damage from Haru. Comes up with the kill. Only assist coming through the Tongue Lash from Core JJ, who comes with the Abyssal Voyage ruler. The Haru going down. They very well make it. Kyuve, however, goes back in with the Twisted Advance. Dodges out on that fourth shot. Ooh. The lockdown Bless, who almost falls. They get Ruler, however, with the dredge line. And that's finally BBQ finding something in these fights. Package comes through. Temp gets locked up yet again. Crown. One support that picks up a lot of MVPs. This is the Tom Kench. It's been a great game for Core JJ. Uh, back in yet again, looking for the turret. Crown taking a, a couple of these turret shots, but Haru goes forward. Finds Bless Devour yet again there to keep him healthy. Hunt comes through, Haru waiting over the wall. He needs to jump in, QB just tanking up, has that Ventral Maelstrom popped. And that'll be the first turret going down. Crown rotates back over to mid, just trying to keep the pressure up, and Samsung should be able to net themselves that first in him. Saw Haru leap in, didn't see onto whom. So the least threat onto a Caitlyn you could ever ask for. Tom Kench is there, tank line in front of him. And Dredge Line finds QB, definitely not the target. Desired by Crazy, who's having a significantly rougher game compared to game one. And now Samsung can just pull right back down toward mid, take out this turret, take out the inhibitor, go to bottom, end the game. This is what outdrafting actually feels like, because we saw what it looks like twice. Great draft for BBQ, as I said, last series, but couldn't make it work. And that's what it looks like when you actually play to your win conditions there. Unbelievably ahead with a god draft, and there's nothing BBQ. Crown almost taking out the lease in. Haru goes in, dredge line comes through. He's gonna get popped up yet again, but Corjacia says no. Uh, time and time again, and that's just gonna be BBQ getting stomped out. Tempton goes both fall. Crazy should follow suit. Crown taking up a couple of these turn shots. We'll have the dash back. Looks like the Nautilus will be able to make it into the fountain. But the same cannot be said for Bless. He goes down. The Nexus turrets are crumbling. That's going to be game number two. Very swiftly being taken out by Samsung for the 2-0. 27 and a half minutes on the clock. And BBQ going to start round two off with a loss. Really, really nice stuff in game two for Samsung. Game one went away from them. Game two was completely on lockdown all the way through. Nice performance from Crown on the LeBlanc. I thought it was excellent Tom Kench play from Core JJ. Rulla did his job, everyone did their job. And it's it's kind of a mystery that we haven't seen this sort of performance from Samsung much over the course of spring. Sure, they're third, but their expectations were higher for them, especially against the top teams.